Hey guys, Atuman here, and today I will be showing you how to obtain Android 4.4 KitKat onto any Android phone for free and no root needed. So let's begin this video. So as a lot of you guys know, Android 4.4 KitKat was just released. And I don't know about you guys, but I am getting a little jealous of all those people who already have the update and are experiencing what we all want to experience. So I have created a video showing you guys how to make your phone look exactly like Android 4.4 KitKat and have some of the main features installed on your Android device for free. Now please understand that you will not get every single feature of KitKat, but it's still what they try. Also you do not need root to do this, which is great. So before I begin showing you how to accomplish this, I have provided a zip file for you to download. It's in the description. Um, you can download it for free onto your phone. You do need to unzip it though, so I recommend doing it on a computer because it's fast and simple. Just transfer it over to your phone later. And it includes APKs of Android 4.4 KitKat and even the official wallpapers. Almost all the APKs installed onto my phone without any problems. But if you cannot install an APK onto your phone for any reason whatsoever, do not feel bad and do not give this video a thumbs down. Mainly because it's probably not compatible with your phone yet and that's okay because some of the apps didn't even work for my phone. So all the apps in the folder are updates to your current Google Apps and you will get the most up to date applications and features. So starting off with the Android 4.4 launcher, I really enjoyed how smooth and quick the apps opened up. It was surprisingly faster than my Apex launcher which is my current launcher that I am using. You will notice on the far left it takes you to a Google Now page in the home screen, which is convenient for all those who actually use Google Now. I do not enjoy the app launcher though, because the icons are way too big and they're spaced out, making for a couple extra screens which could get annoying to find an application. But I do like the option of going into the home screen, holding down on the screen, and bringing up my widgets, wallpapers, and settings. Plus, selecting a wallpaper within the launcher has a much simpler and hollow look to it, which is nice to have. So now let's take a look at the new Google Now search application that is installed in Android 4.4. You do need the Google Launcher to have this work or else it's not going to work at all. By the way, there is a force close when you install it onto your phone. I'll be showing you how to solve that problem. So basically what you do, this is all taking place in the Google Launcher by the way. You go to the Google Launcher. You long press on the home screen, select settings. And then once you do that, it's going to pop up into the Google Now settings. You select the voice. Once you go down, you can see the language, select the language, change the default to I chose English UK. You have to change it to English UK. And then once you do that, you hit the home button and you do everything all over again. So you repeat the process and then you change it back to English um, USA. That's how I did it. It was very simple and it solved the force close on the Google search. So if you don't do that, you're not gonna solve the problem. But the new features okay, that I have cool. found is that you can now say so OK Google in your home screen and it will actually respond to whatever you, whenever you say that. And I also love the animation when opening up Google Now in the launcher, the Google search option. It has that little circular animation which just makes it look very nice. So now let's take a look at the new clock application. It's much simpler and it provides a couple more features such as the different times for each city around the world and a new glossy looks which makes it look sharp and hollow like. I have also provided you with the update of the email application, not the Gmail, the email. And it looks similar to Gmail as well with the new update, it has that white hollow interface, the same icon, and the same slide out menu, just like Gmail. It looks very similar, but it's very fast, smooth, and better than the old one. I haven't left all the Gmail users out. I've provided you with the Gmail application. It doesn't have any updates of whatsoever, or at least I haven't found any but it looks exactly the same but there is an update version which is 4.6.1 the old version on android 4.3 was 4.6.0 which is an update so you might want to stay up to date anyway just to be on the safe side i have also provided you in the folder the google play store update which is 4.4.22 it's very similar to the one on 4.3 in fact it is um, except for a translation update and a code update um, but that's pretty much it but it is still included in Android 4.4, so I said why not. So in Android 4.4, the messaging application got replaced by the Hangouts application to version 2.0, and it comes with SMS support. You can also share your location with all your contacts, and you can display animated GIF files 
to anyone who uses it, and a mood option to set your current mood so all your contacts can see your current mood using Hangouts. It's very easy to do, and I like the way that they integrated the SMS and the contacts on Gmail because it's all in one spot. The keyboard on KitKat is supposed to have a white swiping trail instead of a hollow blue, but I don't seem to have this feature and when you're swiping to spell a word, the Google keyboard uses the so-called space aware gestures so you don't have to lift your finger in between words, it spaces it out for you. The keyboard also comes with emoji, which is amazing, but I don't have that feature as well so I'm a little disappointed with that APK, but it's still worth a try if you have a different phone. Um, so if you want to try to get those features, go ahead and install it. Last but not least, I have the camera application which has the new icon and no new features. Okay, there are some features, but it's not really a big update. I don't really like it because it's a little glitchy on my phone and it randomly forecloses at times when I really need it. Plus, the video and the photosphere don't work at all. I can't get it to work. And also, when I tap on the screen, the arc, which shows the menu, doesn't pop up automatically. You have to move your finger up which is a little annoying to actually reveal the menu. So go check it out if you really want the camera app. So that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys get a taste of Android 4.4 KitKat and see if you like it or not. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my video a lot. And if you know anyone who wants to get KitKat as well for free, then this is the video to share. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!